Okay, some quick updates. Then I'm very, very fast here. I'm running out of space in my thing. Cuomo is in huge fucking trouble with everyone these days, okay? First and foremost, the Catholic Church wants to excommunicate him. There are actually officials from the church that want to excommunicate him for his position on abortion. Okay? That means that he wants to make abortion legal past month four. Right now, abortion is only legal in New York State past month four if the woman is in danger of death and the doctor needs to give her an abortion to save her life. Cuomo wants to make it legal for a woman to have an abortion at any month she wants for any health reason she specifies. That means a woman can literally tell the doctor, I have a health problem, and the doctor can give her an abortion at seven, eight months pregnant. Now, four months pregnant will argue fetus versus baby. Six, seven months, it's a fucking baby. Now, how do you kill a baby in the womb? at seven months. Then salt drill. You take your salt drill, put it into the woman's body, and drill a hole in the baby's head. So this gun has seven rounds in the mag plus one in the chamber. Cuomo thinks that if a woman has that gun, seven rounds in the mag, one round in the chamber, to defend her baby, she should go to jail. But if a woman is eight months pregnant and she wants to hire a doctor to take an assault drill and kill her baby, that's okay. Not making this shit up, guys. The Daily News. The Daily News is an ultra-fanatical liberal newspaper. They were cheering for Cuomo all the way, even calling him America a sheriff at the time. A week after this law was written, um, the Daily News said, is this law really going to work? The New York Times. The New York Times is so far left, they're as close to a communist newspaper as you're going to get. The New York Times ran an article. If you want me to give you the article, comment or PM me, and I'll PM you the article. I'll copy and paste it for you. The article from the New York Times criticized the shit out of Cuomo for pushing the law through too fast. They even alleged there were backdoor deals. They alleged that money exchanged hands. So Cuomo is being condemned by his own liberal media. The Catholic Church wants to excommunicate him because of his stance on killing babies at seven, eight months pregnant. Sunday, I finally got to talk to our lawyer, Mr. Tresmond. I called and told him a couple of things. You know, he gave me some reassurance. Now, Mr. Tresmond, I ran something by Mr. Tresmond, okay? The law says that, the law says that, um, uh, it quotes Justice Scalia from the Heller versus DC decision where some gun control is okay. Well, here's the issue. The fact that the magazine capacity is set at seven rounds means that 90% of handguns are illegal. Even eight round revolvers, illegal. 10 round 22 revolvers, illegal. And I'm like, where's the common sense in that? Now, 100% of, pistol, of, of defensive rifles are illegal, 100%. Because all defensive rifles have more than seven rounds. Now, the weapon of choice in my county for home defense is the handgun because all the handgun ranges are in my county. Rifle ranges and shotgun ranges are way up the line. We got like an hour away to get to a fucking rifle range. Now, the second most popular weapon in my home county is what? The pistol caliber carbine. First, handgun. Second, pistol caliber carbine. Pistol caliber carbine is a rifle that shoots handgun ammunition. Now, the rifle is cheaper than most other rifles. And munition is cheaper than rifle ammunition, so right there it's very good for the limited funds department. As opposed to buying an AR-15 for $1,000 in cold case ammo and driving up an hour 
most handgun ranges in my county allow pistol caliber carbines. So you buy the pistol caliber carbine for less money than AR-15. Buy handgun ammunition for less money than rifle ammunition. Drive 10 minutes to the handgun range to practice. And on top of that, penetration. Okay? If you live in a house that has very, very thin walls, or an apartment that has very thin walls, rifle bullets will penetrate. Handgun bullets might not. So the pistol caliber carbine is a very, very, very popular defensive weapon for guys in my county. Shotguns, not that much, because a shotgun, you gotta go at least an hour up the line to find a shotgun range for a defensive shotgun. I, I don't even know of a defensive shotgun range. I know of ski ranges, but not of a defensive shotgun range. So shotguns, not that popular at all. AR-15s, AK-47s, not so much because the bullet will penetrate the wall. So, this law bans 100% of defensive rifles across the board, period, regardless of make, model, or caliber. The pistol carbines are all illegal because they all feed more than 7 rounds, and they all have a pistol grip. Okay, You're not allowed to have an 8-round magazine, you're not allowed to have any evil feature on your rifle. No evil feature, no pistol grip, no bayonet lug, no nothing. Okay, so that was my argument. I told that argument to several lawmakers. I told the argument to our lawyer. This law bans 90% of defensive handgun of, the, of handguns and 100% of defensive rifles, all makes, miles, and calibers. How is that reasonable? Okay, you pay attention to Justice Scalia when he says. Reasonable when he says when Justice Scalia says reasonable restrictions Second Amendment not unlimited you pay attention to that But then when he says you cannot ban the most popular home defense weapon the handgun Okay, ban 90% of handguns and ban 100% of, of uh, defensive rifles not reasonable It's called selective hearing you only hear Justice Scalia when he says reasonable restrictions You don't hear him when he says blanket bans are ban are wrong you don't hear him when he says, do not ban popular home defense weapons. Now, a gentleman, an assemblyman named Mr. Steve McLaughlin gave Cuomo's real proposals. These are the rejected proposals that Cuomo originally wanted. Confiscation of, quote, assault weapons. Confiscation of 10-round magazines. That means you got a gun, 10-round magazine, keep the gun, they take the mag. Statewide database for all guns, makes, miles, calibers, everything. Continue to allow pistol permit holders information released to the public. Remember the Journal News? Continue to allow that. Semi-automatic shotguns with more than five rounds or pistol grips or assault weapons. The magazine limit was originally going to be five rounds. And they were going to confiscate any magazine that held more than five rounds. This is the... Um, no more than two magazines. That means two magazines, period. I got more than two, put it that way, so. One gun per person per month. Um, state issue pistol permits as opposed to county issue pistol permits. Micro statement, which is actually impossible to do. Mandatory locking up of guns at home. In Heller versus DC, Justice Scalia said you cannot force them to lock their gun up 24 hours a day because they need their gun for defense. So that's unconstitutional right there. Fees for registering weapons. Okay, now, these are the proposals that were rejected. He literally wanted to bring the magazine capacity to five rounds, give you two magazines, and confiscate all your other magazines, confiscate your rifles. He wanted to do all this shit. I cannot wait for this shit to hit the fucking courts. I cannot wait. Okay? All this shit is coming out. The liberal media is exposing him. The liberal media. Okay? So, this is going to get very, very nasty. Now, I have to go now because my memory is running short. So, that's why I was talking fast. Excuse me. Okay, so goodbye for now.